Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. Today we will be mounting the rail kit, the rail mount kit for the Pro 16, Pro Max 16, uh, be it with or without PoE, it still be the same. Right, so I have prepared a brick uh, in advance with the wire uh, untangled and also the power cord to fix at the back after we fixed it in. Right, so this is the carrier for the power brick. Be very sure if you want it on the left side or the right side of the switch. Some of them, you may want it on the left because you have to be in sync with all the rest of your other devices. So first and foremost, you can mount your power brick, put it in, face down, go down, let it lie down straight, and it lies very, very smoothly. Right, next, what happens is there's two hooks here for you to tie up your cable so that it looks nice and tidy. So go round and round. Now, in my case, for this today's demonstration, I will be putting the power brick on the right side of the switch, which is next to the SFP, okay, next to the two SFP ports. And I measure the cables to be sufficient so it can be fixed onto the power adapter here, the power input. Once it's in, turn it slightly, pull it out, okay. and you have a little bit of space. Right, so it's going to look like this. Okay, so I've pressed down the wires into the catch and I have already hooked it around the cable tie, the cable management. Push it in and I've given some sufficient space for me to plug it into the switch, right? So next will be the catch for the ears, all right? Now, prior to putting in the ears, you have to use a Philip screw, okay? Remove the covers, okay? Be very gentle remove the covers there will be two covers depending on whichever side that you want to place the ears okay. in this case i placed it here okay and i'm going to screw them in so there'll be four on this side be sure to check and make sure that they are flat in because later you're going to use these two catch and also the lock okay so there's a locking mechanism now i'm going to do it on the other side so I'm going to just do on one end of it and similarly screw in the red ears okay. be sure that they are tight because they're going to be holding on to the switch okay so now look at the switch the SFP is on my left right at the same time there's a cover which is used to cover the top of the switch okay. so it looks nicer and at the same time make sure the catch is here and I have provided sufficient cable to connect it to the power connector here. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try, I'm going to attach the unit, lock it in. You can hear the click sound, attach the cover. Okay. So from here, you can see I've connected and plugged in the switch. The cover is in, everything is secure. And this is the C13 power cord. You just have to plug it in from the back. And that's it. Yeah, done. Thank you very much for watching and remember to like and share my video. Thank you.